What is up my fellow gamers? Welcome back. And today we are doing the 3D decor pool table for Six Siege, the board game. If you're enjoying these painting videos and also we're gonna have some gameplay videos of different board games as well on this channel. Make sure you like and subscribe, it is greatly appreciated. This is my second channel that I kind of just do for fun. Um, I know it took me a bit of some time to kind of get this video out from the last video. The last video we did the breaches, which was pretty fun and those came out amazing. So hopefully you enjoy this pool table because honestly the pool table took me a long, long time to do, especially the tiny little details on the pool balls and the pool sticks. But I think it came out amazing. I'm happy with it overall. Um, one of the biggest things that I noticed from about halfway through is that keeping the bumpers and the legs white was such a good idea. So initially I was gonna do those bumpers on all the corners where the pool balls go into and also the legs, I was gonna do it just a black color. So it was gonna kinda look like an oak brown with the overall like uh, wood panels and then kind of like what the whole pool table is made out of, but with that brown and black combination, I felt like it was gonna be too dark. And once I kind of got a glimpse of how it looked with the white accented around all of the brown, I was like, wow, that really stands out. So as usual, like I, I've said before, trying to come up with those color combinations I feel is so important. And it's like half the battle when it comes to painting these miniatures. If you can find good color combinations, of light colors with dark colors, you can really make your miniatures stand out a lot more as opposed to just kind of going for that more traditional look. Like if I went ahead and I made those bumpers all black and even the legs black, I feel like it would have been too dark and it wouldn't stand out as much as it does now when you have those white accents around those corners, the brown and the white, it all really just stands out and pops. Uh, as far as the painting colors go, I'll go ahead and I'll name all the paints that I use just in case you're curious or you want to do like kind of the same style as me. Um, but these are all from the new War Paint Fanatic series. So, I mean, if you don't have the Fanatic series, you can kind of just substitute it with similar colors that I'll mention. So for the green part, which is the uh, felt part where all the pool balls are on and you shoot the pool balls, um, from the Fanatic series, I went with a Guardian Green, which is kind of one shade up from like the darkest green shade that they have. So anything that you can kind of find that's like a darker shade green, I think works very, very well. As for the actual pool sticks, those I did kind of two different colors. So I went with a deep gray for like the uh, back part of the sticks, which you'll see in the videos, kind of like that darker part of the end of the stick that I went with a deep gray, which is kind of like the second darkest gray in the Fanatic series. So I, di I didn't want to do it black because I thought black would be too dark. So I thought that having it like a, a, a deep gray would look really well and I thought that came out excellent. And then the rest of the pool stick, I went with a buffed hide, which is kind of like, it, it almost looks like a, like a fleshy color, but on the Fanatic series, it is Rudy Brown and it's like the highest Rudy Brown. So it's like a brown, but the specific one is called buff hide. But as far as the white goes, the white I just left white was the primer. So I actually didn't really paint the white uh, accents you see, which are the bumpers or even the legs. So I primed everything in white. So that was pretty much easy. I just kind of left all that the white primer. As far as the black, we just went with a matte black for the eight ball. And then for the overall look of the pool table itself, I went with an oak brown, which is kind of the side panels and the top panels, all that brown part that you see that the table's made out of. The oak brown I thought was great because it, it has oak in the name, right? So we want our pool table to be made of like oak wood. So that definitely came out amazing. It's like the darkest brown out of the Rudy Browns. And then as far as the actual pool balls go, I did a few different colors for those. And I also kind of did uh, slightly different like little styles to them. So 
I did some of the balls like a complete color and then there are a couple balls that I kept white but I did like stripes on them with the colors because if you're familiar with pool you're gonna have solids and stripes so some of the pool balls are gonna be solids and some of the pool balls are all white but they have a colored stripe across it so I tried to do a little bit of those in there you may or may not see it in the video or even in the pictures but little tiny details like that you know that's kind of how I am I'm, I'm crazy for tiny details but we have some orange for the pool balls and I went with a lava orange which is just kind of like a medium uh, shade on the Fanatic series spectrum and for yellow we went with a warped yellow which again is another one that's like on the medium size of the yellows for the shades we then have a royal blue, which is slightly darker blue, but it's close to being like the middle shade of the blues. And then finally we did one ball that was red and that was resplendent red. And that is like the darkest red possible from the warm reds uh, series right there. And I think it came out amazing. I'm super duper happy with it. I hope you guys and girls enjoyed this video. The next ones we have to do are probably the couches. So we're gonna do the couches and then there are some tables that also have some like things on it. So we'll see how we can split those videos up. Stay happy, stay safe, I'll see y'all later, peace. I'm on my own, broken alone. I feel the rain crashing down. All around this empty town, I'm searching for the lost and found. But you don't care, you're unaware. Keep moving like the scars aren't even there. It's in the air, like a blazing flare.